We, we talk about it uh, and it sucks, right? The, how we ended last season, it, it really stinks, but I, I don't think by any means it was a failure of a season, right? Um, but I, I think it's important. Uh, we talk about it in the quarterback room all the time. Play each play individual of the next, right? And if you did something wrong on the play before, don't carry it into the next play. Um, Again, it's going to be great to go out and get to, to play football again and play at a high level. Um, but I don't think by any means last season is going to affect this season because this season uh, is new. It's fresh. And uh, we got a really, really good team, and we're looking to put it on this one. The quarterback room has a lot of new faces. Yeah. How are you guys gelling? What are you seeing out of some of those guys that they brought in? Yeah, uh, Timmy McLean, UCF, USF, excuse me, um, and everybody's seen him play. Has his film. He's unbelievable. A great athlete, great arm, lefty. He's he's a stud, man. He's really, really uh, a talented quarterback. Um, Xavier Williams came from Charlotte. Uh, awesome guy. I don't know if you've seen him or not with your own yep. two eyes, but he looks the part, right? He he's ginormous. He's a big-bodied guy. Um, has a huge arm. Uh, Gunner Smith also from USF. Big arm as well. Big handed guy, big tall guy, um, and then Dylan Risk, a uh, young guy coming in, extremely talented arm, uh, can do a lot of things well, smart, um, understanding a lot at a really, really quick pace. Um, but that's, that, that doesn't say anything about them personality-wise. That doesn't say anything about them as humans. They're all really, really great human beings, and we have a ton of fun in the quarterback room together. Um, we're constantly cutting up, you know, making fun of each other on film. What are we doing here? What are we doing there? Um, also praising each other up in the same sense. Um, but I think what makes this really, really a good quarterback room is how much competition we bring to each other every day. <clears throat> we're going out there, and we're trying to compete against each other and, and to be better quarterbacks uh, than the other one, right? We're trying to, to be better quarterbacks than we were the day before. Um, and when you have guys around you that help push you to do that, um, it makes it a lot easier on you. And speaking of competition, you had mentioned fall camp. Just how much buzz is there at camp that you guys just seem very eager to get after it? Yeah, uh, I mean, obviously you go through summer workouts. You go through spring, you go through summer, uh, and then the summer you can't put on a helmet or shoulder pads you can't really go against each other as much um, so when you come out in fall camp it's it's you're in compete mode right we're all competitors that's what we love to do we love to try to go out there and and, and beat somebody else and so um, that's one of the things that, that we love to do as competitors is go against each other and so um, we, we're constantly back and forth offense versus defense wide receiver versus DB lineman versus D lineman right and so um, we have fun with it, right? But at the end of the day, we're competitors and we want to win. And so uh, every day, I think that's kind of what makes us better um, is we're pushing each other because at the end of the day, we, we both want to win. We both want to win the day. We both want to win the team, period. Um, and so it's a lot of fun and it, and, and it keeps you on your toes for sure. Last one for you. When August 31st rolls around and it's about 6.50 or whatever, sure. and that place is rocking, you're getting ready to <clears throat> latch it up, just what do you think it's going to feel like knowing you got that brand new Big 12 chapter getting ready to set the game? Uh, I think it's uh, it's going to be a little bit surreal, right? Uh, we're going to be excited. We're going to be fired up, ready to roll. Um, but I think we're going to be ready. We're going to be prepared. We're going to be uh, uh, the best team in that moment uh, to go get it done. Um, I'm super excited to, to play this season with this team um, and to display everything that, that we can display and to execute and play really, really good football at a high level. Hey, welcome back to the grid, Gridiron for another football season. How you feeling? Really good. Uh, super excited and uh, we're ready to roll. Tell me a little bit what the spring was like now that you've had time to reflect. You obviously practice with your teammates, but yeah. you're, you're starting center field for yeah. your baseball. Now that you've had a little time to reflect, what, what comes to your mind? Uh, about the spring? Yeah. Yeah, it was a ton of fun. Um, every day I got to do what I love to do. I got to, I got to go in the morning and I got to play football. And then in the afternoon I got to go play baseball. And I got to be around my buddies while doing it, right? My best buddies over here at football, my best buddies over there at baseball. Um, having the best time of my life, right? It's so much, so much fun uh, to, to, to do the things that I love and to be able to do them at the same time, uh, nonetheless, is was unbelievable. Um, and as I look back at it, man, it's it was a cool, cool time. And being able to do that spring game where you go from game to game, uh, probably one of the cooler moments in my life, uh, talking about my sports performance life. Um, really, really cool experience. That part, um, and it's something that I'm continuing to learn how to do is to, to, prep, to prep myself, because I kind of get in a competitive mode of, of hey, man, I'm. I want to go get everything done and kind of play this role of Superman, but I don't necessarily have to be that because of the guys that I have around me, right? And so um, it's something that I'm learning how to do daily. Coach Hinshaw and Coach Malzahn are coaching me up on it as well, and so um, continuing to learn, and that's that's the goal. What's the biggest thing that you want to nail down before the season? 
I mean, I, I think there's not one thing that, hey, this is what I want, right? There's not one piece, but I think uh, the mindset of this team and myself specifically is to stay in case, right? I want to be better uh, today's day three of fall camp. I want to be a better quarterback day four of fall camp than I was today, right? And so um, I think that's the mindset of not only me, but uh, the, my teammates around me too. And so I think that's one of the things that um, is, makes this team so special. We want to stack days. We want to continue uh, to, hey, how can I get better? What can I do better each day? Uh, and when you have that mindset, um, it makes for a pretty special team. You came from a elite conference. Sure. You now step up into an elite conference. Yeah. What do you tell perhaps your teammates that haven't made that journey about the difference, not to not to downplay the American, yeah. but the difference between that level and the Big 12 um, or the SEC? Obviously, as you said, the American's a great conference, right? We, we played great ball in it for a couple of years. I mean, we, that's a really, really great conference. Great teams, great competition. Um, but nonetheless, we're stepping into a Power 5 school. We're stepping into a huge conference that has really, really good teams in it. Um, coming from the SEC, I, I mean, I've, I've, I've played it, right? I've seen it. Um, and if I had any advice to the guys or if anybody that wanted to ask, um, I wouldn't try to downplay it and say that it's nothing new. I think there is a little bit of a step that comes with that. There's more eyeballs on you. There's a little bit higher caliber team, higher caliber players, higher, uh, not necessarily higher caliber coaches, um, but the execution I think might be a, at a higher level. Um, but at the end of the day, you have to put the ball down. And you got to play 11 on 11 football. Uh, and at some point, somebody's got to score some points, right? And so um, I would say to, to uh, if I had any advice to the guys, is just continue to do what we've always done at UCF with Mackenzie Milton and Dante Culpepper, Blake Bortles, and, and teams like that. They've won at a high level, right? And so we just want to carry on the, the tradition of winning at a high level. Is it the little things and maybe not to say you're not focused on detail, but greater potential. Yeah, I mean, I think that, that that's what it comes down to. Uh, that's the key to football. I think X's and O's are great. When you have a scheme that makes it easy on you, that, that makes it extremely easy. Um, but it's all about execution. How, how well and how good can you execute at each position, at offensive line, at wide receiver doing the little things right, how to strength, at quarterback, understanding the, the, the little things of how to do a drop, who's supposed to get the ball and getting, getting it to him on time. Uh, I think that's what makes you a good football team. And so uh, I think the little things always turn into big things. And so uh, moving forward, going into a new conference, uh, going into day four of fall camp, uh, that's always the focus, the little things, because at the end of the day, they turn into big things. You're, I understand the one game at a time mentality. Sure. But before camp, back in the off season, when the schedule came out with a bunch of Big 12 opponents, on, yeah. where did your eyes stop? Uh, I mean, you, you look through it and you're super excited, right? Like, uh, you get to go to a bunch of places, uh, a bunch of cool stadiums to, to see uh, to see Boise State at the Smurf Turf, right? To 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 uh, go to, to Norman and play in Oklahoma, um, to to have West Virginia at home to play in the Bounce House, right? You're super excited about a bunch of different games, um, but one that, that 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 I think I'm excited about is to is. Uh, Obviously, the first one, right? That's the one that everybody's fired up about. But that's not the one you want to hear, right? You, you, everybody, I'm everybody says the first one. Right? Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm talking Big Twelve here. Yeah, yeah. So I'm super excited to to go to Oklahoma and play. I think it's going to be a really, really fun game. That I heard the environment's unbelievable. The stadium's awesome, and um, uh, I also my. Uh, while I was at Ole Miss, Coach Lebby, uh, who came from UCF, went to Ole Miss, coached me there, um, and so I have a really awesome relationship with Coach Lebby. And so to be able to see him again and uh, Coach Holacek uh, and Doobie, one of the guys that, that was at Ole Miss as well, um, when you have relationships with guys, it's awesome to be able to see him again and uh, ultimately compete against him um, because at the end of the day, that's what, that's what we love to do is compete. And so um, that's one that I'm excited about. I'm excited about that one. There's no more, at least for now, more on I-4. You're in a new conference. Who's your rival now? Uh, that's tough, yeah. I, I don't know, right? I, you I have think, no geographic rival. Yeah, you don't. Um, I feel like we always play a, a fun game against Cincinnati, right? Mm -hmm. I, in the past couple of years, we've, we've played a cool one against them. Um, that's tough. I, I don't know. I don't know who you who you label as the rival, but um, I would think, also think Cincinnati would probably look at West Virginia geographically. Sure, so. that's right. And so that's tough. I don't know who you who you circle as the rival, but I think there's going to be a bunch of fun ones for sure. UCF against the world. That's right. Cool. Indeed, Knights versus the world. Let's do it. You've had a busy summer. I want to go back to the Manning camp. 
Yeah. What was that experience like? Uh, really cool. I've got this is my second year to go. Um, that camp is unbelievable, right? To be able to to be around a bunch of awesome uh, quarterbacks, top quarterbacks from around the country, um, and to be able to, to to have fun with a bunch of kids and teach them the game that we love to do. Um, and I haven't even mentioned yet that you're rubbing elbows with some of the best quarterbacks to ever play the game, right? And so uh, that's a really really cool experience. My second year going, um, I'm always learning something because uh, you get really. Uh, you have to kind of pinch yourself because you'll find yourself having dinner with Peyton Manning and you're just sitting there talking ball and it's just you, him, and one other guy at the table and you're all just sitting there talking like you've been buddies for a long time and at the when you end up getting up, you're like, wow, that really just happened. Um, but it's a really, really cool experience. Got to learn a lot, make a lot of new buddies um, from different uh, guys in different schools around the country and so it's a really, really cool experience. You've said being young John Rice Palmy, imagining what you would grow up to be. Yeah. You just had a camp kids at yeah. UCF, so you've yeah. got to see a lot of those young people that are looking up to you. What's that like to impart what you know? Yeah, uh, really kind of surreal, right, because I remember being, again, little John Rice, and all I wanted to do was go to a Southern Miss football game uh, or a high school football game at Oak Grove, for that matter, and to, to get somebody's towel or to high-five one of the baseball guys coming off the field. Man, that's all I wanted to do. I thought those guys were the coolest guys in the world, and so now to be kind of in their shoes, uh, I look down and when I see those those guys running around, those little guys running around, I see little John Rice, right? They they I'm sure they love football, they love baseball, um, they love athletics just like I did. Um, and to be able to kind of switch the roles is kind of really surreal for me, and it's a really cool experience for sure. Some changes on the offensive line. How are you developing chemistry with what's going to be a new center position? Yeah, uh, I think that's a, it happens every play. Center quarterback exchange. It's a, it's a really really big deal. Um, we've got. Uh, three uh, really, really good centers right now, and, and center quarterback exchange has been really good. It's only day three camp, um, but all three of those guys are super, super talented. Uh, Kittler, Metcalf, and, and Buhler are, are studs of human beings as well. They're a ton of fun to be around, um, but I mean, I, I, that's kind of the point guy at the, at the offensive line position, and so you want a, a guy that's going to lead the pack, and um, I think it's really, really good that we have depth, not only at center, um, but all the way across the starting five. We're going to have dudes. Um, that I think can switch out, and I think we've got probably eight or nine guys that could be starters at a power at a power five school. And so, when you have depth like that, it's it's a pretty dangerous weapon. How do you Probably look at that? How dangerous <clears throat> or scary can this offense be when you got guys like Kobe, Javon, yeah. uh, R.J. Harvey, yourself, Johnny Richardson, Alex? Yeah. The list goes on. How scary can this offense be if everything is clicking on all cylinders? Yeah, uh, I think we're 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 going to be a scary side for sure. Um, I think it starts from the top down with Coach Malzahn and, and Coach Henshaw kind of leading the pack with Coach Hand coaching the O-line, Coach Hurd and Coach Blackman um, coaching them all up. Coach Cam Martin who just got out of playing in SEC ball. I mean like when you have the coaches to lead the pack that have been there, that done that, that know what it looks like and to have the personnel behind it that can execute anything that they want to do, um, it's, it's pretty scary. Uh, I think if, if defenses are looking at UCF football um, and aren't kind of scared right now, uh, I think they they should be pretty soon. So much of that will go through you. How much pressure do you feel going into the season, knowing that that offense is going to drive through? Yeah, uh, I, I don't really feel a ton of pressure. Um, I don't really. Or the season? Do you just? Is that just part of? Yeah, the I, I think that, I think that's kind of a little bit. I am how I am as an athlete as well. Um, I have fun doing what I do, right? I mean, this is a this is a, a fun game to me. Uh, I don't feel like I have to to prove anything to anybody. But what I do love to do is show what I can do and show what this team can do. Um, and so I think if the if we adapt the mindset of, hey, we don't have to prove anything to anybody, we just have to show everybody what we're about, then I think that that takes a big leap for, for a team, right? Um, again, as you, going back to your question, a lot of it's going to go through me. Um, when you have guys, a starting five that, again, have eight or nine guys that can play at any Power Five school to have receivers for days that can just, we can just rotate them in and out and have four or five backs, again, that can be starters at any Power Five school. I mean, I just got to give the ball to the guy that's supposed to get it, right? I mean, let these guys, let the fast guys run fast, let the, let the strong guys move, move the big guys, right? And so, um, 
when you have awesome players around you, it takes a lot of pressure off of you. Other teammates are saying they see more confidence. Not that you weren't. Confident. Sure. Do you notice that? Do you feel that a little bit different from this camp uh, or even spring? Yeah, I mean, I think confidence is a big deal, especially when you're playing quarterback. When you're playing, I think when you're doing anything, I think confidence is key. Um, I've never really had trouble with confidence, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely really fun to to and, and command, maybe not yeah yeah when command you have a offense. when you have a year under your belt, right? You you know the system. Um, you're you're not necessarily learning the system anymore. You have it mastered, uh, uh, and now you're just adding on pieces with Coach Henshaw of, of little wrinkles and vertically stretching the field. Um, it makes it easy, right? You, you're not necessarily having to go to the line and think about, hey, what's going to happen here? What is this guy going to do in this situation? Hey, this guy's a line like this. What's going to happen here? You don't have to. The gray area kind of goes away. It's kind of more black and white of what you're going to get, um, and it makes it easier on you. And so, again, you can play with more confidence. You know what's going to happen necessarily, um, and so. Um, Again, I think confidence is key, and I think I have. I've, I've gained confidence having a year under my belt, going through the spring, going through the summer with these guys, now going into the fall. And I think the confidence is just going to keep growing, and I think the more confident a team plays, the more dangerous it gets, and so um, a lot of confidence going into the season. Finish this sentence. For yeah. You. Baylor, TCU, and Kansas State aren't aware yet that UCF will beat them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but they will know soon. <laughs> Very succinct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I got. Okay. That's what I got. Have you ever looked at any of Jared Henshaw's old video from planning? I haven't yet um, because we've been so busy. You know, he's he's pulling up and watching a ton of film with us. But he's been, yeah, he's told us he's told us stories about how one day he had to do two games in one day, too. He had to go from uh, uh, a baseball spring practice to a basketball game. I think it was a championship game or something. He came in the fire, uh, came in the locker room, fired up, ready to play in it, and those guys were fired up too. It's, yeah, absolutely. And it was super, uh, super exciting for him. And so uh, we've gotten to go down memory lane a couple times with him, but I haven't got to pull up the He's film. He's got to break up some film. We got to. We got to break up some film here sooner than later, <laughs> just to be able to to correct him on some of those stuff that he's doing too. But yeah, he's been awesome. Heck yeah. Yeah, what would you consider this to be a successful season for you and the team this year? Uh, I think we're going to be a really, really talented team. I think we're going to win a lot of games. Um, I think if we go uh, and 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 do the things that, that – and, and execute at a high level, I think we're going to be in every football game that we play. Um, and I think that's something that, that Knights fans should be aware of and uh, that Knights fans should expect because uh, I think that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Thank you so much, man.